Welcome to another episode of Timmy in Shangalar. And uh, we're about to jump in for the fifth episode today. And I mean, I don't know if you've seen last week's, but I was only fighting against Lord of Faith. I'm done with that. I'm, I'm not going to fight a single Lord of Faith this uh, episode. Promise. I promise. Shangalar. I'm just hoping to maybe kind of improve my deck a little bit and maybe go into that dungeon. We found a lot of dungeon clues of this one dungeon that had um, Berserk in it and I think some Moxen. So I'm, I think I'm going to focus on trying to get into there and kind of, you know, get the, get the rewards. Berserk would be really good in my deck. Uh, but before I start, first, as always, a message from our sponsor, 3 for one Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, so uh, let's jump in. Timmy goes green. Let's see, ooh, no, mu no music at all. Usually when I start it's like a lot of music, but there's nothing. Um, let's take a look, do we have any hints? Maybe in the journal? Oh, over here, we gotta go over here. Was it at Altar? No. Yeah, the Ruins of Suchan. This is the one I was talking about, the Ruins of Suchan. So it contains small red creatures, no artifacts allowed, life loss carried over. Orcish Oriflame permanently in effect. West of Shill Cliff Forge. So let's see where the Shill Cliff Forge is. Let's have a look. Mm, oh, here's Shill Cliff Tower, but that has nothing to do with the forge. Shilcliffe Mill, Shilcliffe Temple. No, I don't see the forge. So I guess I'm just gonna kind of, you know, walk around and uh, I think I'm just gonna go up north. Or no, let's go here, let's go west or east. This is east, isn't it? Let's go here east. I haven't discovered anything there. Uh, blue amulets, no thanks. Let's, let's go east. Oh, uh, sure, pay to go, leap of faith. Okay, duel the vampire lord. Sure. Let's go, man. You and me. Winning my first toss of the day. That feels good. Play first. Yes, please. Uh, <coughs> let's see. We've got Mountain Sheevan, Forest Dirkwood Boars, Lightning Bolt, Aladdin's Ring, and Land Leeches. So I guess I'm just going to start with a mountain. I have that bolt ready. Pass the turn. <clears throat> Let's see, what can we do today? A vampire bats, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna play another forest and the next turn I can play the land leeches, 2-2 two, two for a striker. There's the attack, so I'm not gonna do anything if he pumps in mana. Ooh, so now I'm gonna lightning bolt. Now I'm gonna take him out. There we go, no damage, and he stepped out, so that was perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go for Forest, I'm gonna go for Land Leeches, also have a Yosha now in hand. Ooh, there's a Mana Bolt, oh, he's animating the Vampire Bats, that is so funny. Of course, man, go for it, animate the Bats. I don't think I've never seen anybody animate a Vampire Bats, like in, in, in real magic. Uh, okay, let's attack with the leeches. 2-2 two, two first striker. Yeah, I take the damage. And then I'm going to play the Yoshin. If I can find another land next turn, then I can play the Dirkwood Boars. The 4-4 four, four vanilla. That would be nice. Wow, attacking for zero. 
But hey, I'm not complaining. After last week's game, I'm, I'm happy with opponents that make mistakes because, man, that was tough. Their Sorcerer's Queen. Ooh, that could be a problem, actually. Um, let's first just attack. 2-2 two, two, and a 1-4. Then I'm going to deploy the Dirkwood Boars. Uh-oh. Yeah, the computer wasn't responding, so all I could do was click done. That's annoying. That is annoying because I wanted to deploy your Dirkwood. That's a bit of a setback. I'm a little scared that maybe he's going to cast Sengir Vampire. Okay, Uncle Estvan is actually also a bit of a problem. Um, let's first just attack with both, see what he does. Okay, so he takes no damage. Gonna play the Dirkwood Boars and pass. Found another Yoshin. I just need one more mana for Shivan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's of course the problem when you're playing, you know, my intention to just play mono green is that I won't have any uh, creature removal. Let's see, I'm gonna block this. And just double block it. Let's see what he what he's gonna do. Oh wow, he's not gonna use the queen. Oh, but of course Uncle Isfun, all the damage dealt, the all the damage dealt to Uncle Isfun from creatures is reduced to zero. Yeah, I knew that. Oh man, carrying ants. Oh man, it's not looking great for me. Um, I can cast a Shivan. I think what I'm gonna do is just attack with everything here. Trying to put some damage in. Uh, I'm gonna cast the Shivan. And then if he attacks, I think I'm just gonna put my Yoshin in front of the bus, you know, take uh, block the carry dance. It's nice actually, Mana Vault with carrying ants, kind of funny. There's also a, a, a match on the channel where somebody plays Tron with carry ants, also kind of nice. Oh, turn, no! Oh, oh that's, that's not great. Um, but he is tapped out, and he tapped the Sorcerer's Queen, so that's kind of stupid, but I'm going to take full advantage. I'm going to attack with the entire army. Why is it eye for an eye in my deck? What? When did that happen? Okay, so the Vampire Lord's in seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I guess I guess as long as the Vampire Lord keeps doing like stupid stuff, then I have a chance of actually winning it. If it would if it would play it well, then I would definitely lose this game because the Queen is so decisive. But uh, yeah, keeps making uh, mistakes, doing silly stuff. So I got a chance. There's another queen. Clay statue. I'm just gonna attack with everything here. Wow, he's gonna jump even. Okay, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. He's on two because of the mana vault. Another attack, let's block. Pass. I have to say, Vampire Bats is doing work. I'm on 10. It's not a lot. My deck still feels bad. I mean, maybe it's me, but my deck feels very vulnerable. Hardly any removal. Pretty bad curve. Um, I'm just going to attack with everything again. I think he's dead, actually. Hey! I'll take a dungeon crew. Contains small green creatures. Okay. What was it with my lives? Let's first check out. Do I have an I for an item deck? No, I don't. Okay, so I just got it temporarily, I guess. Five cards, nothing there. Okay, so I've got a deck two with 40 cards. And I've got a deck one that's slightly bigger. Ooh, 
pyrotechnics is good. Um, Minor Elves. I feel like this deck is almost playable. I just need a few more. Um, Aladdin's Ring. Should I take it out? Because I don't have a lot of ramp anymore. Mm -mm. Let's do another Yoshin Soldier. I kind of, I have to say, I like the Yoshin Soldiers. Oh, look at this. I can just put the Yoshin Soldiers in. Is this, is this a good enough deck? You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the 60 card deck. Why not? Begin a quest. What do you have? A Mana Link. Okay, I'll, I want Mana Links. Message West to my brother. Keep of Windless steady. Oh, next duel, minus three lives? That's what the vampire dude did? Why? I'm already weak enough. Uh, witless, oh, witless setting just to go back again. Okay, I'll go back. I'll go back. I'll go back. Okay, this was the easiest mana link ever. Um, buy some food. And I'm leaving again. Travel south to Aluren Shrine. Let's, oh, I'm going to travel there. That's very close. That is very close. Uh, sure, I'll do the process. Let's do it. Hey, get to start again. Mm -mm -mm. Start the duel. Wall of Ice, Clay Statue, Dirkwood Boars, Mountain, Lightning Bolt Mountain Colossus. Okay. Okay. Ivory Cup. The life gain has started. Oh man, look at this carnivorous plant, carnivorous plant, but I, I want to get a forest. Forest? Oh, oh man. Hey, at least I got a battle gear. It's so funny, I could, if I have my wall of ice, I can use my battle gear on my wall of ice. That's actually kind of nice. I want to do that, because you can do it on any creature, right? It doesn't say non-wolf creatures. No, it doesn't. Okay. Please give me a forest so I can astronauts battle gear my wall of ice, because that's just really cool to do. Please. Oh, God. It's going to force me to discard. That is so annoying. Hmm. I, th I guess I guess my early conclusion is already my my sixty card deck is not really up for the challenge yet. Spirit Link. Ooh, I can respond. I'm just gonna bolt. I mean, it's a two for one, right? And I don't want to discard more stuff. Urza's Avenger, another card that I cannot play out in the near future. If I just get that. Uh, uh, Forest, I can deploy Wall of Ice, I can use my battle gear on my wall, and I'm happy. A Yoshin Soldier, okay, that's annoying. I gotta discard another Colossus. <laughs> and there I go, I'm gonna go to 10. Come on, give me a land, please give me a land. Wall of Swords, that's fine, that's no extra punishment. Ah, oh, Clockwork Beast. I mean, it's a cool card, but it's not what I need. What have you been doing this game? Oh, nothing really, just uh, filling my graveyard with creatures. Oh no, oh no, that's actually a very cool move, but that's not what I want to see right now. I'm going to drop to six. Oh god, so even if I play out the Wall of Ice, it's not going to be able to block anything. <sighs> okay. Conclusion, my 60 card deck is, it sucks. Don't say it out loud, but it, it kind of sucks. Um, good, got to discard something else. Mm, Earth's Avenger? So all I've done basically, I played a single lightning bolt, I discarded how many creatures? Okay, the computer is thinking, so I cannot show you the graveyard, but I think I discarded four creatures, four artifacts. That's it. Colossus, Colossus, Earth's Adventure, Clockwork Beast. 
Oh yeah, and I played Ashnot's Battle Gear, which is kind of a cool card. But... Force of Nature, are you not now? I'm playing like 23, 24 mana sources. Um, I'm gonna discard the Force. That's, that's, that's not gonna happen this lifetime. I'm dead anyway. Losing a fireball? Why did I change the ante? Okay. This is a, a huge fill. To assist you, I shall tell you something about... Ooh, the Soul Chant Monastery. Okay, nice. Um, let's leave the village. Oh, I don't want to battle. And a, and a lightning bolt at stake? A lightning bolt? Oh, man. Okay, 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 got a pretty good hand. I'm gonna start the duel because I have a pretty good hand, but I have a forced into Lunar Elf. And you know, at this stage, at my, you know, so far, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with small things in life. And I've got a Carnivorous Plant, that's four mana, so I can cast it out of the buck, but I can stop the flyers. Ooh, okay, uh, I gotta attack. But I, have, I, I really need to go back to my 40 card deck because this 60 card deck is, is ridiculously unbalanced. Like another Colossus. Uh, okay, so we can go Forest and then I can play Carnivorous Plant. Yeah, Tortoise, pretty cool card from Arabian Nights. I mean, a 1-4 for two, it's pretty, pretty decent. Like all the creatures in Arabian Nights I, I believe at least have the right like kind of power level. Oh, time elemental, that is so annoying. Um, there's nothing I can do. Oh, now, now she's gonna use the time elemental probably. Of course, of course. This match is gonna be so annoying. Um, I'm gonna play Carnivorous Plant because if he's gonna send it back again, that's fine. The next turn I can play a land and do an ice storm and play the plant. So I can do two spells. So for now, it's basically four mana for four mana. You know what I mean? So it's fine. It's a standstill. I can live with that. I mean, I need to get rid of the time elemental at a certain point. Or if I destroy a land, then she no longer has enough lands to activate the elemental. That's another way of trying to fix it. If she misses land drops, but... Hmm. It will be tough. Oh, go ship, of course. But I guess the positives here is that she didn't. Oh, I should have played Island of Wak Wak. Stupid. That's gonna cost me two damage. Uh, I'm gonna Ice Storm an Island. Gonna pass a turn. So at least now she doesn't have enough lands to use the time elemental, so. Oh, she found a land drop. Okay, good, good for you. Um, I'm gonna go time elemental. I'm gonna go mountain. I'm gonna go carnivorous plant. And then next turn I'll do I'm not the rock rock. Yeah, so this makes sense because now she can attack with the ship. Nice, I'm liking this because yes, time elemental is good, but I can just play out a lot of stuff. And the island of Wakwak is going to help me from the damage dealt by the ship. So that's good. I am liking this. I'm kind of safe and then if I can get enough mana, I can get Colossus. Although he will probably bounce or she will probably bounce Colossus anyway, so... But it's better than doing nothing, I guess. Let's first see what, what she can do. Okay, sure, no problem. Uh, Wall of Ice. Ooh, I could play Colossus of Sardia. Uh, I think I'm just, she'd go Giant Spider and Wall of Ice. We're kind of at a standstill here, right? Like, 
If I can just find something to get rid of the time elemental, I'm good. But there's hardly any removal in my deck, I feel. I really need to go and, and have a look at that. I need more removal for sure. Okay. And again, I can do a double spell. So I can go Clay Statue. I can go Giant Spider. But yeah, there's not a good attack for me. The good thing about playing with the 60 card deck is that I realize how good my 40 card deck is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, my 40 card deck is not that bad, actually. If I look at this, this is really a mess. 40 card deck is, oh, my multi. Oh man, I'm in, I'm in a lot of trouble. Um, shall I just cast a Colossus just, just to see, you know, see if he's gonna panic or she's gonna panic? Uh, I still got Island of Vakbak. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ay, 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 ay. Drain power. Okay. Target player draws all mana from all lands he or she controls, but all mana from mana pool. Sure, man. Oh, no. He's stealing it. That's actually kind of funny. I got a smile. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I cannot be upset with that. That's a cool move. Uh, let's use my island of Akvak. But I'm. I'm so gonna die. Hey, pyrotechnics! Finally, a way to deal with that stupidly annoying time elemental. I guess. I guess I got to do that. One, two, and one and two. Hmm, but the problem here, the writing on the wall is that a uh, really big Colossus of Sardia, I am so going to throw my wall of ice in front of that Colossus of Sardia. So going to do that. I guess, I mean, she doesn't have nine mana, right? Yeah, she, so she can just swing in for once. It's fine. We'll just take two damage. Oh, tapping. Okay, tap. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy that... She doesn't tap my wall of ice. Uh, let's go Isle of Vak Vak. Okay, uh, choose blocker. His wall of ice is gonna block the Colossus. That's it. Why did I play out the Colossus? I know why, because it's cool, but oh man, this is also an annoying card. Uh, energy flux. Yes, I'll pay the cost. Pay the upkeep cost. So now I've got to pay two for each artifact, but he actually has to do that as well. So I wonder if he's going to pay for the Colossus. Uh, Dirkwood Boars. Ooh, another Colossus. That is interesting. That is interesting. So I could say I'm going to let my clay statue die next turn. I could do that and then play the Colossus. I think I'm going to do that. But first, I'm going to pass the turn. Because again, there's no good attack. Oh, he's going to pay for it. Okay, so that means you need 11 mana. Because you need 2 to pay and then 9 to untap. And now you've got 2, 4, you've got 6 in total. So I'm pretty safe. Oh, not control magic. These control magics are like killing me. Absolutely killing me. Uh, I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to pay because I'm going to play my Colossus. Colossus of Sadia. Hey, am I Dwarven Warriors? That could actually be kind of good. I can use the Warriors to like make, I don't know, my Sister of the Flame unblockable. I am so going to attack next turn with the Colossus. I don't care if it's, I'm not even gonna think about how he's gonna block, I don't care. I'm gonna attack. Okay. Oh, untap with Twiddle. Oh, that's so bad. Oh man, 
The AI is killing me. Now I can't, eat. I, I just said I'm gonna attack no matter what, but now I'm not gonna attack anymore. I need my Colossus on blocking duty if I don't wanna die. Uh, yeah, I wanna pay the upkeep cost, of course. Oh God. Shapeshifter, that's funny. Um, but if I start casting all those artifacts, it could be more difficult. Um, I'm gonna go Dwarven Warriors. I, I feel I need to do that first. I think my Dwarven Warrior is, is my best plan to actually deal some damage. You know, I could go Dwarven Warrior, make Sisters unblockable, deal two, and then, yeah, it takes 10 turns. Probably not gonna work, but it's something. Got a little plan. Okay. Actually happy that he's not attacking with his Colossus here. I think if I was him, I would have attacked and offered a trade, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pay. Pay the upkeep cost. Oh, Gaius Leech. Okay, um, that's funny. <laughs> Let's play Gaius Leech. Why not? It's only a 3-3. Three, three. A 3-3 three, three for 6 mana. Oh, man, that card. That card is... But that card is so cool. I'm going to make my Sisters of the Flame unblockable, and I'm going to deal combat damage. Yeah, boy! Yay, I dealt combat damage. This game... This game. There's the attack, so I don't have lock lose flying or lose power, I mean, go to zero. Yeah, I don't have lock super cool card. Also love the flavor. The flavor text. Okay, Phantom Monster, more flyers. That's not great. That is not great. Pay upkeep cost. Hey, Urtz's Avenger. I can make Urtz's Avenger flying and I can trade it for the Phantom. I think I'm going to do that. I feel like I need to do that. Make unblockable. I'm just going to win with this strategy. I don't care. I know it's a bad plan, but it's a plan. I'm just going to keep doing it. I really wonder if she's now gonna attack with Phantom Monster Ghost Ship Mamoti, because that's what I would do. Yep, that's what he does. Okay, what I can do, I think. Um, let's give it flying. Um, I could also make this zero, put my spider in front of the bus. Yeah, but that spider is a really good blocker. Now I'm just going to go this. I don't want to lose the spider. I don't want to lose the spider. Um, done. Choose blockers. I'm just going to trade. I'm going to trade. Also, because I don't want to have the extra... Uh, tax of energy flux because then I pay four. It's really going to be really hard to cast stuff. Uh, let's make a forest. Upkeep. Let's pay the upkeep cost. Uh, let's go. Um, no effects. Aladdin's ring. Ooh, I'm actually pretty close to the ring if I let the Colossus die, but I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go make this unblockable. I have an idea. Can I can I do it in a way with Shapeshifter? That Shapeshifter is comes in like a, a one six. I make it unblockable with the warriors and then that's what I'm gonna try to do. That's gonna be fun to kind of see if that works. Uh, let's first attack. Let's play the ship. Let's play the ship shifter. Let's see if it works. Uh, tap one. Okay. 
We're going to make it into a 2 5. Let me, let's put my hand over here so we can see all the creatures. I'm starting to worry now about my computer, by the way. Like this many creatures on board, like sometimes the game crashes when it's this intense. Okay, so I'm gonna try the shapeshifter trick next turn. Let's see if that works. I don't know how you can, you know, you normally I think it works. You can do Dwarven Warrior Shapeshifter. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make this to zero. I would have been so dead without Island of Vakrok, by the way. That card is a lifesaver. Gonna use my Gas Leech again. It's gonna play another one? Uh, let's turn this into a forest. Done. Um, Colossus. Let's pay upkeep cost. Tap four. One, two, three, four. Pay upkeep cost. One, two, three, four. Oh, and now I can change it to a big creature. Oh, this is so cool. It's working. 6-1. It's working. It's working. Oh, I'm getting excited. Please don't let anything weird happen. I just want to swing in. I so want to win the game with this combo. That would be awesome. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, yeah, I did it. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever done this. I mean, then you're then you're a winner, man. I'll say I'll send you a if you've ever done this, I'll send you a Timmy sticker. You'll get a sticker. Um, Fight Invoker selects. Okay. Anyway, back focusing on the game. Focusing on the game. Uh, Island of Rock Rock. Sure, man. Attack for zero. I don't mind. Go for it. <laughs> so I guess next turn I have to change it back. Anyway, we first got to pay the upkeep cost. One, two, three, four, which is getting ridiculously high. Done. 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 Make it into a two five. Um, I cannot change it. I can only change it once, I guess. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so I've got another mountain, which is not too bad. Let's make the sisters unblockable. If I am correct, then I can actually win it next turn. If I do that shapeshifter trick again, and I just, I need to take my time for that so I don't make a click mistake. Because that happens often in Chandelar that you make a little click mistake, you enter too quickly, you forget a phase or something, and then it's not working anymore. I forgot to use my Gaius Leech last turn. Let's do that now. I mean, you never know what it's good for. Uh, okay, fast effects upkeep. So we gotta pay for this one. Uh, Dwarven Warriors. We gotta pay for this one. Oh. And then we're gonna change it into a six one. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, it's working. And there we go, gentlemen. This is how you do it. And this is how I won my game of Chandelar. I hope. Yay, I won. That's so cool. That is so cool. Uh, trade blue amulets for any lands, buy cards, no thank you. Um, I'm gonna go back to my, well now 39 card deck because I lost a card, thank you very much. Uh, let's 
see what do I have. I mean, I guess I could put in the, the, the Aladdin's ring again. Insufficient funds. Man, why? Okay, so I gotta fight. No, I don't want to fight you, or do I? Okay, I guess I do. I thought this was one of those opponents that doesn't give any anti. I'll duel you, sir. I'll duel you, and I'll win some prizes, sell some stuff. Then I want that world magic. Start the duel. So I got Yoshi. Oh, I got a pretty okay hand. Look at that. Yoshi soldier. Lana were elves. Forest, giant spider, battling, uh, battering ram, forest, kind of carnivorous plant. So I've got a turn one play. I've got a turn two play. And I have a turn three play. So this is really good. I like this. I can go Yoshin Soldier. And then the turn after that, go into giant spider. Um, this, is, this is actually pretty decent. I can't complain. Yoshin Soldier. I like Yoshi Soldier. It's a, it's it's a good it's a good card. So one four doesn't have to tap when attacking. I mean that four that's like that's proper beef. You know that can that can block a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hercules, of course, of course you do. That's so annoying. Uh, I'm gonna go for Giant Spider. But I'm really happy right now because look at this. I can just play on my complete hand. Just with four mana, you know, that's kind of where I want to be. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. I want to win stuff and then sell stuff and then buy that world magic. That's my very complicated plan. Uh, first things first, attack with the spider. Ooh, taking the damage now, are you? Um, let's go. Oh, I don't have six mana. I could do. I'm gonna do clay statue and battering ram. Don't have enough mana for for both. Oh, I should have done Joshin soldier and battering ram. Clay statue, of course, is four. Would be really good if it was three. Can you imagine? Oh man, it's the mutation. No. Oh, two unstables? Are you kidding me? Oh, and now I draw the lightning bolt. Awesome. Um, okay, this is really a problem. Um, poo, poo, poo. I mean, I can block next turn. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Then I can kill it with the bolt in combination. So if I play something out, I have to make sure that I don't use my red mana. Pass turn. Now I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't find another unstable. Okay, that's good. Done. Choose blockers, block. And let's play a mountain. Hey! I mean a mountain, I mean a bolt. Bye bye, Zephyr Falcon. Let's see. Dwarven, carnivorous plant, battering ram. Let's go for the ram, let's do it. Let's go for the dwarven warriors. And now I'm going to attack for four with my artifact army. Yeah, take it. You're on five and I'm almost there. That means I've only lost one game so far, right? Which is, which is really good if you look at my uh, previous episodes. Unsummon? Okay, I can I can live with unsummon, you know? I can, it's not the worst. I mean, it's annoying, for sure, but it's not the worst. Uh, let's first just attack with everything. We're not gonna ban, it's all solo. Okay, and we're gonna, oh, I can play pyrotechnics. Finish the game. One, two, three, and four damage. That's it. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna take the cards. And I'm gonna go here, I don't know why. Uh, 10 quid for 15 gold. A mana link, if I go to Shellcliff Tower, where is that? 
Oh, it's all the way over there. Um, sure, because I want a mana lake. But I'm also going to go to that other village again to try to sell some cards. <clears throat> Dun, dun, dun. Let's try to see if we can sell some cards. Look at how much stuff I have. Okay, sell for 280, sell for 160. No, I cannot sell the part. I cannot sell the part yet. I did get a lot for the whimsy, by the way. I shouldn't have sold that. Uh, leave the village. Yes, pay the gold. Absolutely. Okay, now we're going to go... Speak to the wise man. What did he say? If you seek green amulets, travel north, blah, blah, blah. Um, I need to go here to the tower, right? Let's check. Yeah, to the tower. Okay. Onwards we go. Okay, I'll do you, Archangel. I'll do it. Play first. Absolutely. Ooh, Lanora Elves. Lanora Elves into a forest. Then I can do Dwarven Warriors. It's not as good as a hand as I had in the previous game, but hey, turn one Lanor Elves, I'm happy with that. <coughs> ah, Sword Supply, sure. Okay, sure, man. That is too bad, but I've got to turn one play. Battering Ram! So if she plays a Wall of Swords somewhere in the future, I don't mind, because I've got my Battering Ram. Battering Ram is blocked by any wall. Destroy that wall at the end of combat. Hell yeah. Uh, Osai Vultures. Osai Vultures. I'm going to offer him a trade. Let's see if he takes it. Okay, take the okay, take the damage, Big Papa. Take the damage. You'll regret it. You'll regret the day that you didn't take the trade for the Battering Ram. Another land. Oh man, and again, why do I keep putting Aladdin's ring on my deck? Let's go in a band, why not? If you can do it, let's do it. I kind of have a weakness for Aladdin's ring. I just think it's, I remember as a kid, I thought it was such a good card. And of course it's not, but you know, that idea that you can deal recurring damage every time you untap it was just fascinating. Um, what are gonna attack? I'm gonna band with the Dwarven Warriors now. My batter, battering ram is very open-minded. He goes from Yoshin soldiers to dwarven warriors. He's, he, doesn't, he doesn't mind. Vulture's putting in work, by the way. Oh, Sir Angel, that's bad. Um, do I have eight mana yet? No. Oh, that's so bad. Um, let's make my soldier unblockable to attack with it. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, but... How many lands do I have? One, two, three, six. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm on seven. I'm on a two-turn clock. A mountain. Oh, this is not good. If I still would have had that Lanora Elves, I could have played my Aladdin's Ring right now. And then the next turn killed Asera, and that would have given me some more time, but... There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I gotta go to one. Whatever, man. Even if I draw into like pyrotechnics, it's not gonna be enough. Uh... Hey, and I can cast my Aladdin's ring. Isn't that grand? Isn't that grand? I'm gonna lose a duel, right? Was a duel was on the line. I'm losing good cards as well, by the way. Fireball, now my dual land. I need to start using the change anti option. Oh, I lost my taiga. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Speak to the wise man. If you seek green amulets, I don't seek... Do I look like I seek green amulets? Hey, City of Grass. Croc Hold. Where's Croc Hold? Ooh, it's pretty close, actually. I gotta go to the tower first, though. Leave the village. Let's go to the tower. I don't want to go... Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a dungeon. 
duel. Oh, I'm so near to the to the white tower. I kind of changed my my. Uh, I kind of pay him off. I mean, okay, play first, winning the toss. Winning the toss. Oh, I got an island. That's so nice. That's of course because I've got 39 cards in my deck now. Oh man. Okay, Savannah Lines, that's a problem. Let's do Forest. Let's pass a turn, take some damage, then hopefully play out the Ocean Soldier, which is a great blocker for the uh, for the Lion. Timberwolves. I mean, normally the island should have been the taiga, and then I could have played the land leeches. Um, no! Oh, man. Seriously? Whatever, man. Whatever. It's just a game. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. Uh, okay, at least I got to land. Um, now we're cooking something. Um, it all doesn't really matter that much. I guess Hill Giant. Right? I don't know. Maybe should have played Land Leeches. Land Leeches would have been better because it, it's got first strike. Because now I'm going to... Yeah, it would have been better. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm still in it, so if I'm still in it, I can still exactly win it. Uh, let's go for land leeches this time. Land leeches! Nice, he's not attacking. Let's attack with the leeches. Sure, man, I don't mind. Um, let's go war mammoth. Last turn. The leeches has been quite good. It held back an attack. It dealt damage. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Um, ooh, I can, okay, I don't want to play my Sheevan just yet because I don't want to throw it in front of the bus, or do I? Um, no, I'm going to do clay statue. I can regenerate the statue and the next turn play Yoshin. Double block Yoshin on clay, kill the... He's not even attacking now. This is awesome. Carnivorous plant, even better. I can trade carnivorous plant. I love it. So next turn I'm going to deploy Shivan. Shivan dragon coming up. Even, even if he's going to cast the Sarah Angel, which I hope you don't. Oh, force of nature. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Sure, man. Okay, okay, okay. I need time to think. I need to go Sheevan. And I, I just need to double block. He's going to attack. I got to double block. I got to do... Okay, he's not attacking with it. Okay, I'm really lucky. He's not attacking with it. Um, I'm gonna go Aladdin's Ring. And I'm just gonna pass the turn and just kind of pray to whatever's out there that it's not gonna attack me. Wow, this is awesome. This is fantastic. Um, You know what, I'm gonna pass an end step. I'm just gonna deal four to him. That's what I'm gonna do. Just don't attack with... Why would you attack with the force? I can double block on the plant and the in. Oh, are you now going to attack with the force? You're not. Okay. Um, Let's do Aladdin's Ring. I'm going to shoot the tusk. I'm going to shoot the tusk because then I can actually win next turn. Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm going to attack. Um, yeah, sure. I want to give it some extra power. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can make it seven. You know what? I'm just going to try to kill him with the Shivan. Why not? Let's do it. 
Hey, and I want to take the cards. Wow, I really didn't expect to still win this one. Woo, and he's giving me, that's nice, Tusk Guardian. Change the anti-card, because I don't want to lose my Gaius Leech, and I'll do it. Wow, I'm just, I feel really happy. I also got an Ivory Tower, which is good. Oh, I want to take a mulligan so bad. Look at that hand. I keep drawing that one island, by the way. What's up with that? Um, let's see. Mountain, Mountain, Pyrotechnics, Aladdin's Ring, Yoshin Soldier. Okay. Tip the wolves. Gonna take some damage from the wolves, but I can deploy my Yoshin next turn so I can start blocking stuff. Um, I mean, he probably has a giant growth, but then I'm willing to trade Yoshin for a growth. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's go Dwarven Warriors. I can trade Dwarf for, for Timberwolves. I'm fine. I do mine, man. And then I've got Pyrotechnics coming up. I wonder what he's going to play out. Oh, this is a great target for my Pyrotechnics. I'm gonna go pyrotechnics. One, two, three, and one to the guardian. Hey! And I got a bolt, so I can bolt something else. Okay, another one. Uh, let's go Yoshi Soldier. And just pass the turn. Maybe he's going to enchant the War Mammoth, and in response, I can play the Bolt. That would be quite nice. Um, I'm going to block. And if he plays the Grove, in response, I can Bolt. Exactly. It's what I'm talking about. There we go. Almost ready for my Aladdin's Ring. I love how I keep drawing into that ring, by the way, because I only play one, right, in the 40-card deck. But it, 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 it's like it's in every opening hand. It's like, oh, of course, the ring, yeah. So I've got seven mana. Oh, no, oh, no, not that again. That force of nature is so scary. Even my ring is not going to save me from the force. Oh, this is so bad. I gotta take the damage. Oh my five. Carnivorous plant. Okay, that's that 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 can that can stop the bleeding a little. I can attack with the soldier. Hmm. Okay, what I need to do is I'm gonna block on the soldier. I'm gonna take four damage, go to one, and then next turn I can. Uh, block on a carnivorous plant, but I still die. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really a way out of it for me. Ooh, an Onulet. That decades life. But uh, I'm on. I'm so low. Um, dang it. It just feels kind of unfair, man, that you've got force of nature like at this stage in the game. I can't. Then again, you know, being getting killed by um, by a force of nature, it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, I gain life, right? Still die. Okay. Let liches is gone. The people are pleased. Oh, pleased, not glad. They're pleased. Reward it with a green amulet. Okay. Um, 37, I'm just losing so much, so bad. Um, I need another mountain in there for sure. Uh, regeneration could be useful. Um, I feel like I also need to add like a creature. 
Uh, but first the land, I need, for sure, I need a mountain. Listen to the music, by the way. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, Ivory Tower is good, but maybe Earth says Avenger because it can fly. It's six, though, but it can fly. I hardly have any flying creatures. Maybe I should just play Island of Aqua. Trade white amulets for any shaman. I'm not going to trade any white amulets. Uh, okay, so there's a city under siege, which is over there. So I'm just going to go and try to save that city. Whoa. What happened? Oh, I'm gonna pay you because I want to free that village. Yeah, duel the Enchantress. For the supremacy of Crockhold! I'm gonna make a screenshot of this to use it for, uh, to use it as the uh, thumbnail for this episode. Yeah, baby, it's for the supremacy of Crockhold. Duel the Enchantress. Okay, I really, really, really want to win this. Play first. Oh, now I'm drawing my force. Why do I have these cards in my opener? Why? Um, it's not the worst hand, to be honest. I mean, I've got Lance. I can cast Ice Storm turn three. I can cast Carnivorous Plan turn four, turn five, Dirkwood Boars. I just don't have any early stuff. But that's okay. Okay, she's not doing anything as well. Oh, again, the Aladdin's ring. This is just, this is just ridiculous, that ring. One ring is in the deck. One ring. One ring to rule them all. Let's go mountain. Um, I'm going to go Dwarven Warriors, because with that I can at least attack. Deal some damage. Or are we going to see an Enchantress? Yay! Oh, not a second land, or a fifth land, I should say. Uh, and I could have played a Dirkwood Boar, so that would have been really sweet. Hmm. Regeneration on the for Jurem, that's pretty good. Hmm. Library of Lang, I like I, this. That's really old school for Journey Shadows with your Library of Lang. Back in the day, hey, a land, a land. I go Dirkwood. I can start attacking. I can play Regeneration on it. But I mean, she can just block with her Enchantress with the Regeneration for days, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a Boars. Okay. Um, I'm going. What I'm going to do? I want to play aggressively. I'm going to attack. Because I can now regenerate. Hey, deal four. There you go. I know that she also plays with Aspect of Wolves, which is really good in this situation. So I just hope that she's not going to draw into that. Like that would make that Dirkwood Boars like a 6-6. Six, six. Ooh, Cockatrice. That's really good. That is really good. Um, I guess I could just attack again. Hey, okay, so I am. I've dealt eight damage with my boars. I can't complain about that. I need more. If I just can, can get enough lands, I could cast my force of nature. That would be really cool. Mmm, this is annoying. Living Artif Oh, there's the Aspect of Wolf I talked about. But Living Artifact is better than you think. It really is. You may think it's only one life a turn, but it adds up. Uh, copy this. Uh, I'm on 11. Oh, I can play Force! Oh, Gaius Leech is also quite big on this board. I think I gotta go Force. It's 
think I gotta go force. Like force of nature and just, you know, attack like crazy. That's all I can do really. Oh, lure. Oh, on my dwarf? Okay. That is not smart. I mean, now I think she's kind of killed herself, actually. Uh, five damage. There's nothing I can do. Because if I now attack with the dwarf warriors with the lure, she has to put all the blockers on the dwarf. And then, yeah, that was a really stupid move. But hey, man, I'll take it because I was losing. We're going to attack with everything. And she has the lure, so... That works out. All creatures able to block and chain a creature must do so. This is the Ice Age art. I remember that. I remember that when I was a young Timmy. Look at this. This is beautiful. One point left. Let's do it on the boars. There we go. Wow. Take the cards. Another. Ooh, I thought for a moment this was a force. Another lure. Desert Twister is good. Take the cards. And I get a soul net. Hey, <laughs> a soul net. Trade red amulets for blue cards. Buy a hint. If you combine crumble with onulets, I can gain five life by using crumble. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Um, I'm gonna buy the crumble. Hey, a lot of else is good. Forest. Life force can be useful. Sandstorm against weenie decks. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um. So we've got a Desert Twister. I want to play a Desert Twister. Uh, I'm going to take the Aladdin's Ring out. I'm going to put Desert Twister in. I'm going to put Lanarels in. I'm going to take Battering Ram out. Um, do I want to play a Crumble? I'm not sure. I'm kind of happy with this deck. I think it's good. Um, a lot of smaller stuff though. If I get some more ramp, I can start playing with bigger cards. Um, let's base some gold. Um, you know what? I see that I'm already playing for over an hour, so I'm just gonna call it uh, a day for now. Uh, this was episode number five, right? Was it number four? I'm getting confused. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching another episode right here on the channel. Uh, if you enjoyed uh, what I do here, please consider leaving a like, sharing this on your socials, and leave a comment. Um, and of course, you can also join the Timmy Talks Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Timmy Talks, probably appearing here at the bottom right now, the address. So uh, please consider becoming a member and support the show as a patron. And for now, thank you very much for watching, and let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.